Today on Discover Wisconsin, we're taking in the flavors, fun, and festivities in Chippewa Falls. No matter what you're looking for in a vacation, this Riverside City is pure fun for everyone. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. This is an anthem For those who look for more And never say they've seen it all Windows and blankets Take a ride The Grandlands Craze Tonight It's easy to fall in love with a place like Chippewa Falls. On one hand, it has this really quaint small town feel, but it's also the largest city in Chippewa County, and there are so many interesting things going on all the time. Just northeast of Eau Claire, the city of Chippewa Falls is located west of Lake Wissota on the Chippewa River. I was really impressed by downtown Chippewa Falls. There are tons of shops and restaurants, but there were two places that we had to check out first. I'm one of those people who thinks ice cream should be its own food group, for sure. Could eat it every day, all day. Uh, so I was really excited to check out Olson's ice cream. It really is a legendary spot in Chippewa Falls. What do you think makes Olson's Olson's? I mean, you guys have been around a long time. It's a place where people come because they're going to have ice cream and they're happy. They're happy when they come in and they're happy when they leave. And to hear them say it's the best they've ever had. I mean, it just really makes us feel good about the extra effort that we put into our product uh, that is so well appreciated by the people that come. Olson's has been around since 1944, and they serve up more than 100 different ice cream flavors on a rotation. Everything tasted amazing, but it wasn't all fun in samples because they put me to work. This is a lot of muscle sticks. Yeah. Ice cream art. There you go. Right across the street from Olson's Ice Cream is a place called Soak Up's Market. I cannot say that I've really ever been to a place quite like Soak Up. Soak Up's has been around for over 100 years, and I think what I love most about them is they have not changed the way they do business, I mean, pretty much since the day that they opened. So, Pete, if you were to describe Soak Cups, what would you say? What's this market all about? Well, it's an old-fashioned, family-run meat market. Um, been here for 120-some years. Um, a lot of my employees have been here for 40 years. People love coming here because we know their, know their names by first name basis, and they just, just a hometown feel in this market, yeah. Now, I spent a whole summer working at Oscar Mayer back in college, and believe it or not, I've never actually stuffed brats before, so this will be interesting. I was pretty terrible at it. About the length you want, you just pinch there. Oh, you just eyeball it? Yep, but just twist it. <laughs> okay, these are Let's definitely in going in the clearance aisle. Oh, dear. Ta-da! Look at how productive I was. And they say I'm not good in a kitchen. <laughs> It was fun to talk to the customers who came in and all of them told me, look, I've been coming here for years. I mean, this is my place and Chippewa Falls wouldn't be Chippewa Falls without a place like Soak Ups Market. We are this year's Festmeister and Festmeister and we welcome you to Chippewa Falls Oktoberfest. Prost! Oktoberfest in Chippewa Falls takes place at the Northern Wisconsin State Fairgrounds and they have a ton of great events there. It's a very authentic German fest. Yeah. What can people expect when they come here to Chippewa Falls for Oktoberfest? Yeah. We kick off our event at the Lining Kugels Brewery with the announcement of our Festmeister and Festmeister Inn for the year. Roll out our golden keg and then have a parade up to the grounds. And at the grounds we have live entertainment, three beer gardens and one stage just for family fun inflatables, activities for kids. Um, and then we also really focus on the authenticity. So we have authentic German food vendors, and of course, all the food and beer that you might want. I might get a brat in a minute, but I gotta get a beer first because I can't eat on an empty stomach. You got an authentic German vibe, but it was a fun atmosphere that was also family friendly. So it was a lot of fun, and you could see that it could be fun for everybody. Learn 
more about downtown Chippewa Falls and Oktoberfest at discoverwisconsin.com. Don't go away. When we come back, I'm taking a tour of Leinenkugel's Brewery from Dick Leinenkugel himself. We're exploring Chippewa Falls right here on Discover Wisconsin. One thing about Chippewa Falls, when you think about the city, you almost instinctively think about Line and Kugel's Brewery. The two are almost synonymous. Well, I'm here today with Dick Line and Kugel. I'm wearing my Liney's Red for the occasion. Well, it looks a lot more like Line and Kugel's Lemon Berry Shandy. It does. Yeah, our red is definitely a deeper red than that. Okay. So you've brewed a variety of beers on these grounds. You started in 1867. Tell me about the history of the brewery. Well, Jacob Leinenkugel with his friend John Miller came up here from Sauk City, Wisconsin. Jacob found the purest spring water in the world from the Big Eddy Spring and all the ingredients he needed to make his lager style beer. 150 years later, the sixth generation of Leinenkugels were carrying on the legacy. So basically the brewery set up right along Duncan Creek. The Liney Lodge is on one side, and that's the newer building where you can drink Liney's beer and buy their clothes and all that good stuff. The original brewery's all on the other side of Duncan Creek where you get to see how and where they make the beer. This is the original 1890s building, you know, that we're in. So this looks like darker grain. What are we brewing in here today? Uh, so this is probably our Bavarian Dunkel, our new dark beer. Now let's talk about the beers for a moment. What makes Liney's beers more unique? Well, I think first of all, what we're trying to do at Lining Kugels is to kind of take those German styles, but put our Wisconsin spin on them. So when I think of Honey Vice, we were one of the first brewers to take real Wisconsin honey added to a wheat beer, so a beer mixed with a little something extra. And our summer shandy is our largest selling beer today. It's in all 50 states but it's brewed right here in Wisconsin. So this is our most award-winning beer, Pliny's Creamy Dark. Ooh, smell that beer. Get that aroma first, so it's coffee, toffee. He was showing me some little tips and a, tricks, a like the best way chocolate. to really sample and savor a beer, and it really does bring out the flavor that each of their beer varieties have. Mm. Think of an iced coffee, that's almost what this is. Mm -hmm. So you might have noticed, if you were at Liney's, that there's a bike trail that runs between the brewery and the lodge. Now that's called Duncan Creek Bike Trail, and it's beautiful. In fact, anyone who wants to enjoy the area on two wheels, you're going to love what Chippewa Falls has to offer. What else is the Duncan Creek Trail kind of known for? What are the characteristics of this trail? Um, it's a relatively easy trail for all users, um, families. Uh, can ride it any ability. As you head out towards Lake Wasota, then it connects to the Old Abe Trail, and you'll get to see a lot of cool land from wooded terrain to farmland to the river. All of so. Wisconsin's best assets right here For in the sure. Chippewa Falls area. I love it. So while Mariah was exploring Chippewa Falls by bike, I figured I'd find a little more relaxing mode of transportation here in town, so I knew just where to go. I used to live in the Virgin Islands, so I kind of wanted to meld my two favorite things, a log cabin in the North Woods and a tiki bar on a beach in the Caribbean. So that's what we did here at Loopy. So we have uh, everything from the, the river tubing and kayaking and canoeing. We do weddings here. We have volleyball year round. In the wintertime, we actually dome over the entire backyard. We keep it 70 degrees all winter long. So you can have a little bit of summer on the beach in Chippewa Falls all winter long right here at the world's only heated sand volleyball dome. No matter what season it is, there's something going on here at Loopy's. My experience on the tube was basically just one of serenity. And uh, you've got the cooler with you, so if you want to crack open a beer while you're listening to birds and you're hearing fish flopping around in the river, uh, it's just a phenomenal experience. It's kind of that ultimate Northwoods summertime relaxation experience. It's clearly a lot of fun always going on at Loopy's. This is kind of like the recreational epicenter in the summertime when you want to do some relaxing water sports and then uh, enjoy food, beverage, volleyball, you know, whatever you want. Coming up next, we're checking out a one-of-a-kind center for the arts right here in Chippewa Falls. Welcome back to Discover Wisconsin as we explore Chippewa Falls. The Heidi Center for the Arts is a beautifully restored former high school in Chippewa Falls. It sits atop one of the highest points in town, and it offers all kinds of different things to residents and visitors. They have comedy shows and, and musicals. They have art exhibits that are up all the time. They're always changing. People host weddings there. 
there's a lot of diversity in terms of the kinds of events that you see at the Heidi Center. And I think that's why a lot of people gravitate toward it. So Deb, what do people find most fascinating about the Heidi Center? I think a lot of people have found that we just, we don't offer just one thing. We're not targeting one audience. They like the fact that we have a lot of variety. It's really about community. It's about entertainment. It's about learning, growing, expanding. Sometimes they look at us and say, we say community theater, but we're bringing in high quality acts that will have people traveling. Yeah, no, he took the Santa seat right off. The facility itself is just absolutely gorgeous. And I think too, in this community, we receive such a warm welcome and we have felt, I think, very comfortable and part of the Heidi family right from the start. Oh, geez, mother, you know, I sure- I think everybody knows an Oli and Lena in their life and it reminds them of family members or people in the community. It makes people smile and I think that's why they come back. The Heidi Center also hosts a variety of community events like Taste of the North. It's a historic building. It's got lots of character itself. So to have all these different providers come in and offer their services and bring in their specialties and do it in such a beautiful environment, it, it just works great. It's a good girls night. I'm here with friends and there's so many things in Chippewa Falls that I'm not aware of. So I felt this was a way that we could get exposure to all of it. it. It's good food. It's wonderful. So if you're looking for more places to put community and culture together, you're going to love the next stop I got to go to. And that's Riverbend Vineyard and Winery. Riverbend is well named because it's in a bend in the Chippewa River, just a little bit west of town. And it's this real peaceful, beautiful vineyard area. And you'd, you'd kind of swear without the mountains, you were in California right there. So Chippewa Falls, lovely place, but not a temperate climate. How do you make sure that the grapes are consistent enough? What do you do for quality control? You know, it's, it's a tough thing because each year is different, um, but we do have certain parameters that we're looking for. And so we'll start testing the grapes three or four weeks prior to harvest uh, to see how they're coming along. But a lot of what we do, we actually do by taste. Uh, the science seems to only get you so far, and then the art part comes in. So if that's something you're interested in, we've got some reds in barrel. We can go do some tasting, see how they're coming. Let's do that. Oh, an open one. Oh, wow. Fresh wine, fermented but not aged, just like me. Oh, look at this. Hey, so are you ready to come do some barrel tasting? Uh, sure, yeah, absolutely. I, I was just testing a, a batch that. for you. One nice thing at Riverbend Winery is I got a little behind the scenes look. This has been in the barrel since December of 2015, so okay. I don't think it would be ready to bottle yet, but we're gonna try it and see what we think. So then we swirl it around. We can try it. Right, I think it's geez. a little young, but we'll see. It's coming along. I like along. it. Yeah? And the day we were there, there was a band playing. People brought food from the outside, but they could enjoy their wine. They could enjoy their distilled spirits from the distillery and just have a great time. Everybody was just laid back, having fun. And it was just an all around awesome vibe. Want to learn more about the Heidi Center for the Arts and Riverbend Vineyard and Winery? Head to discoverwisconsin.com. And stay tuned. When we come back, I'm heading to the Northern Wisconsin State Fair. We're back in Chippewa Falls, right here on Discover Wisconsin. I was really excited to go to the Northern Wisconsin State Fair. I grew up going to my county fair down in Rock County as a kid every single summer. That's like a big part of what Wisconsin summers are about, at least to me. I mean, going to the fair it really is fun for the entire family. I moved to this area in 1977 and I've been to this fair every year since. And it's changed a lot over the years. I have a lot of fun. I know these people and uh, I know their families, maybe three generations as you watch. It's a real growing experience. These kids know what the cycle of life is from raising these animals and taking them to the fair and seeing the ultimate outcome of what happens to their projects. Fairs are the backbone of rural Wisconsin. Summer isn't summer without a county fair. It was so much fun. Surpassed my expectations for sure. Of course, I wanted some rides. I also got to make funnel cake. Lots of swirls. There you go, that's good. 
which if you haven't had funnel cake, you haven't experienced a fair. That was, that was a lot of fun. I made this one with love just for you. Enjoy it. I mean, it really was a quintessential fair experience. I must have tried that bottle up game literally like a hundred times, and I was failing miserably. Oh, no. Burn it. This little thing. And I finally did it, like one time. <laughs> they, they did, I think, just out of pity. Yes! I did it! They gave me this giant duck that I took all the way home. It's about a family event. In the early 1900s, people came to the fairgrounds because that was a gathering place. Everybody got together, the businesses, uh, families, and everything else. That holds true today. And nothing brings people together more than top-notch entertainment. The great thing about the fairs, especially the county fairs, are, you know, you get the whole family here. You get uh, mom and dad and grandma and grandpa and the kids and aunts and uncles and everybody here. And we're very much of a family band, so I enjoy that part of it. Wisconsin's just a great part of a middle America type place. You know, I know there's a lot of big cities in Wisconsin, but usually when I think of Wisconsin, I think about the smaller towns and uh, it's a beautiful state. So we saw so many great things all around Chippewa Falls, but really the topper was Irvin Park. It's a phenomenal place that you wouldn't think would be in a city this size. Irvin Park here in Chippewa Falls is 318 acres of beauty and recreational fun and a little bit of adventure. It also has historical heritage sites like the Sunny Valley Schoolhouse and this right here, the Rumble Bridge. How cool is this? Irvin Park is a hidden gem in western Wisconsin. It's a great place to have your family come and meet and have picnics and spend all day outside. Along with all the other cool things we found in Irvin Park, they have a free zoo, which is pretty impressive, the variety of animals they have in there. Look at that hair, it looks like he's trying out for white snake in the early 80s. And Jennifer, who's the lead zookeeper, kind of let me go behind the scenes. So I got to enjoy lemurs, and they're really cute, they're really cool animals. The monkeys, the capuchins in there were very interesting. One of them liked me, one of them I think was a little on the fence, on the cage, if you will. And then uh, the tigers were cool. We got to feed the tigers, not while they were in their pen, of course, And uh, I got to entertain guests in the tiger pen who were clearly disappointed at first that I was in there and the tigers weren't, but I did my best. From Thanksgiving through New Year's Eve, we have the Christmas Village here at Irvin Park. 60,000 lights are here. You can either drive through or you can also uh, walk through as well, depending on the weather, of course, but beautiful to see. And again, a free thing for families to enjoy. This type of amenity is huge for our smaller community. Having it be free to us to use, to preserve the land right here in the heart of Chippewa Falls is wonderful. And people take pride in that. Between the beautiful riverside scenery and all the great places to visit and explore, Chippewa Falls has an adventure waiting for everyone. Plan your trip today at discoverwisconsin.com. I'm Eric Paulson. We'll see you next time. I swear these look like deep fried cheese curds, but these are monkey biscuits. Yeah, you can try one. Well, that's okay. Oli still hasn't taken me to the Line and Kugel Brewery, so we're gonna come back till I get to go there. For more information, behind the scenes pics, and past episodes, head to discoverwisconsin.com. Continue the adventure by following us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Discover Wisconsin Radio. Oh my God. I'm a good chef. That's really good. I'll share. Hey, Popeye. I don't know if he knows his name, but... Oh, Jesus! <laughs>